Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, we're going to look at another note taking app. This one is called Notebook. So the idea for this is it wants to bring the old school notebook in a digital world. There's a lot of features that I found very, very useful. And I've reviewed quite a bit of note taking apps, especially on the iPhone. A lot of them make app of the day. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use this one. At the end of the video, I'll give you my rating from one to five. I'll put a link below in the description to this app. Go ahead and download it and I'm going to press open. And you could actually skip the sign in page and come right here. So I skipped the sign in page. You should sign in if you want to use this and sync it between different devices, like between your iPad and your iPhone, for example. And what I love about this app is how simple it is. Literally, when I opened it up, maybe in a minute or two, I knew where everything was and using it after 10 minutes, I was really pretty efficient with using it. So let me show you exactly how it works. On the home page here, you have notebooks. That's your top level. And inside of each notebook, you could have many notes. So just like a traditional notebook, you buy the notebook and inside of it, you could write a bunch of different notes. It works the same way here inside of this app. To create a notebook, all you have to do is press the plus sign on top and that will give you access to creating a notebook and giving it a title. So let's say this was book notes. I'll give it that title and press done. So now to put a note inside of that notebook, I could jump in here and I could see that I don't have a note. What I love is every notebook you create and you jump into, you'll get a different quote. And I found a lot of them useful and inspiring. And now inside of the notebook, I could use any of the options on the bottom. Let me just press the three dots here to show you all of them. So you could write a note. You could record a voice memo as a note. You could add a to-do list. You could attach files. You could capture, meaning you could use your camera here to take a picture. Or you could actually draw or a combination of all those things. So let's start with the very basic one, write. So I'm going to select that. And it's going to open a note for you. One of my least favorite things about this, or probably one of the only things that I found a little bit distracting, is every time you open a note, it's a different color. So I actually find this color a little bit distracting and it changes every time you open a note. I wish it was pretty consistent throughout my experience of opening a note. But here inside the note, I will type in my note here. And I have a lot of functions on the bottom, like putting it on bullet points, putting in a number order, making it a checklist here, or changing the style, like making a bold here. So I could go ahead and select, make a bold. And you get the idea. There's some options here and you could go through a lot of them. And you could actually change the background color if you don't like it. That's the option over here. Select that and go to white. And you just get a traditional white background now. And I'll press done. So now I have one note inside of that notebook. Anytime I could press the back arrow here to come back to my home page where I could see all my notebooks. What I really also like is in the very first icon is all your notes. So the rest of them are actual notebooks, but the first one is all your notes. So you could press view all notes and see all the different notes do you have from all your different notebooks. So I found that very useful as well. Let's make a different kind of note. This time I'll go to app of the day right here. And this doesn't have any notes and I'll create a checklist here. So I could put a checklist. Item one will go here and item two will go here and so on. You could also give things a title right on top. My list will go there as a title and press done. And there you go. Now you have a to do list. Let's look at recording a voice. So I'm going to press the record option and add another note. And as you could see, it's actually recording it as I'm speaking. And when I'm done, I could press pause. And I could press done here. And just like that, I have a voice memo. I could click that voice memo. And here I could go ahead and press play. Or I could actually press the transcript. It automatically transcribed it for me. That's incredible. So if you press these lines here, you could see the transcript that way. Again, you could go ahead and share this too with the up arrow. If you press that, you could export it as a password protected file. Or save it to your files or any number of things here. I'll press close and get out of this page and go back to the home page. One of the other useful options I like is the search icon on top. You could search your notes here. So if I search a word, it would search not only my title and my notebook titles, but also the content inside of the notes too. So it, it's very useful there. I could also password protect the notebook. So this book note, if I hold it down, you could see I could lock it and set a passcode. So then people, if they had access to this account, will need a passcode to see that. So that's very useful there. 
You have your draw option on the notes. If I press draw on the bottom, I could actually draw anything I want. And you have different things like highlighters and different pencils and erasers on the bottom. So again, that's very useful. Again, it's been added to my note just like that. And finally, this capture icon not only gives you access to your camera, so there's my photos, I could also go to documents and scan documents, receipts, or business cards. Very, very handy option inside of this because that's one of the main ways I use any note app is by just scanning document, using it as a digital scanner. That has that too. So it has just about everything I wanted inside of a note taking app. It's been really hard for me to get off the regular note taking app that comes with my iPhone and give another app a try, but this really has everything I'm looking for. And I'm gonna give this app a 4.5 out of five. And the only reason I'm deducting anything from this app is just my personal preference of the notes being different colors all the time and the notebook covers changing all the time. I really want a nice, consistent, clean look from this app. Every time I press to create a note, I don't wanna see a different color. And then every time I had to go back and reset it to white. But that's my personal preference and that's my rating. But it's a five out of five as a note-taking app. It's very solid. So if you're looking for a good note-taking app, this one is definitely worth a try. It's called Notebook. Thanks so much for watching this video. I make these type of app review videos every single week. So if this is what you want to see more of, please subscribe. And I hope to catch you on the next video.